Let's reset the counter yet again for the final top 10 this morning. This time with a look at runtime on desktop and mobile devices. Let's start with mobile. Our mobile technologies aren't tied to the ArcGIS release, so this means that most of the functionality I'm going to show you here today is available immediately. So I'll be sure to specify those as we go through the countdown. Now, having said that, the top three items on our countdown deal with the platforms and devices we support, and they're all available today. Coming in at number 10 is ArcGIS on iOS. So I've got my uh, iOS app, or the ArcGIS application running on iPhone. It's displaying a map showing subsurface geology information for the Teapot Dome oil field in Wyoming. You may notice something different about the application. We've removed the tabs along the bottom in order to increase map real estate. And we've also put the more commonly used tools at the top so you can access them much easier. This is one of our more popular mobile applications with almost 200,000 downloads in the App Store. And that's number 10, ArcGIS on iOS. Coming in at number 9 is ArcGIS on Windows Phone. We see here it is the same application. It's got a similar user experience. It's got a similar workflow and it's got the same capabilities. And that's number nine, ArcGIS on Windows Phone, available in the Microsoft Marketplace right now. <laughs> well, we've got some Windows Phone fans there. That's great. This leads me to the next item on our countdown, number eight, ArcGIS on Windows Mobile. So I've got the ArcGIS application running on my ruggedized handheld device. It's looking at the same data, the same map. This application is specifically designed for harsh field conditions and allows for high accuracy GPS and data collection. Number eight, ArcGIS on Windows Mobile. This next item on our countdown hasn't been released yet, but it will be in September. And that brings us to number seven, ArcGIS on Android. Yeah, Android fans, all right. <laughs> it's the same application. It's got a similar workflow, similar user experience. We're accessing the same data and the same map here. ArcGIS will not only support Android on the phone, but also Android tablet devices as well. And that's number seven, ArcGIS on Android. So, so, so far we've looked at ArcGIS running across a number of different platforms, all accessing the same intelligent map. So it's one map authored once being used across all of your mobile devices. So let's continue with the countdown and look at some exciting new functionality we've built into some of these platforms. The iPad allows you to access your data and stay productive when you're not at your desk. And this brings me to number six, productivity tools. So I've got the ArcGIS application running on my iPad. You now have available to you a legend to give more information about the layers within your map. Notice as I zoom in and the layers become visible, the legend updates itself, all from within your mobile device. You also have fine-grained control over layer visibility. Here, I can toggle on and off my surface geology layer, as well as access its sublayers, all from within my mobile device. OK, so let's leave this layer off for now, because it's going to help me illustrate the next productivity tool, and that is data collection. I've got a bit of data that I can, different types that I can collect here. I know there's a lot of construction going on out in the field. So what I'm going to do is just zoom into my area of interest, and I'm going to interact with the map and specify an area where we've got construction. At any time during the editing process, I can tap and hold, bring up a magnifier for more fine grain control. We can also add in some other information today's date, some contact information, and we're done. And that's data collection on your mobile device. <laughs> the, 
This last productivity tool I'd like to show you is pop-ups. Now, all of the pop-ups that you author within your maps are available to you on your mobile device. Images, graphs, links, they're all available to you. And that was number six, all of the new productivity tools we've built in to ArcGIS. Come, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Coming in at number five is social media. You have the ability to share your map via various social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter, but also through SMS and email. So sharing this map is as simple as specifying a destination address and sending. And that's social media and sharing number five, all from within your mobile device. So the these productivity tools and sharing tools that I've showed you here this morning are all available for you right now in an update we just released to the App Store last night. So some of you folks may already have it on your phones. Now let's talk about a major project that we're working on for the 10.1 release. And in order to help illustrate this, I'm going to show you a custom application. This application was built using the iOS Runtime SDK it runs on my iPad, and it allows me to go out into the field and inspect my oil tanks. Well, there's going to be times out in the field where I'll have little or no connectivity. And this brings me to my favorite item on the countdown, number four, offline capabilities. So, so the best way to demonstrate offline capabilities, well, is to go offline. So, we've got no Wi-Fi, we've got no cell coverage, yet I'm still able to interact with my map seamlessly. It's very, very fast, and that's, all the, and that's because all the data is local on my device. Now, just because I'm offline doesn't mean that I can't get my work done. So let's go ahead and inspect this tank. I'm going to bring up my form. I'm going to specify some information. This particular asset looks pretty good. Well, how about that? Looks pretty good. And I can even attach a photo to it. In this case, I'll choose an existing photo for my camera roll that represents the asset that I'm inspecting. So I'm done. I'm now going to save this asset. You'll notice from the upper left-hand corner that this asset is complete. It's saved, but it's still local on my device. So. When I do get connectivity back, I can simply go back to the application and sync it back up with the server and share it with the rest of my colleagues. And, now, I, I showed you these offline capabilities in a custom application, but they're also going to be available to you in the ArcGIS application at 10.1, no programming required. Yeah. I'm, I'm also happy to say that for, all, that for users, all of the mobile technology that I've showed here today is available to you at no additional cost. And that concludes the mobile portion of our countdown, but the runtime also works on desktops. And so to finish out the countdown, I'd like to hand it over to Ewan. Ewan? Thanks, David. What I'd like to do now is just pause for a second or two the countdown so I can give you an introduction to the new ArcGIS runtime. This new runtime is, has, been, has a new architecture that we've built from the ground up to be very fast and very scalable. So what do I mean by scalable? M modern computing uh, platforms today have multiple cores, multiple processors. This platform, uh, this architecture would take full use of the platform. It's a very small footprint. It runs on 32-bit and 64-bit devices. Windows and Linux is supported. And it comes with an SDK. Java, Qt, and WPF developers will be building solutions with this SDK. Now, what sort of solutions do they build? Typically, focused applications. They maybe support a custom workflow. Maybe they just answer one question. So let's take a very quick look at my developer machine for a sample application. 
We can see here we're looking at the state of Oregon in some forest stands. And this application is going to ask, answer one question. Are the road culverts large enough to handle the increased runoff after a forest fire? We can see we've got the extent of the forest fire here. We've got an overlay, a fire intensity overlay, that we'll use as part of the analysis. And I'll zoom in to the part of the forest to start the process. So I'll select my tool here, click allocation. And it's now running a geoprocessing model in the background. The application stays very responsive while it's executing, and it's calculating that answer. 22 inches. We can see the watershed that was calculated as part of it. It's a very quick introduction to the runtime. What I'd like to do now is restart the clock at number three, and I'm going to share with you my favorite three things about the ArcGIS runtime. At number three, fast application startup. We all like our applications to start up quickly. So I'll select it and say open. And I think you get an idea of how fast these applications are going to start. So that takes me straight to number two, which is fast map display. So this is a nationwide geology map of North America. As I pan in and zoom around, it's drawing this data. The data is all held on my local machine. And you can see the display performance. It's also a large scale map. So let me zoom into Mount Baker. And we can examine the display performance when we're zoomed in nice and tight. It's still very, very smooth, fast display. It's also got fantastic cartographic qualities. We've got maplex labels, representations being used to draw the geology symbols. So that was number two, fast map display. So let's get on to number one, and that's easy deployment. Now, as a developer, I know it's one thing to build a solution. It's often entirely difficult to deploy the solution. So let's take a look to see what it takes to deploy that today. Well, my solution, the geology map, has maps and data in a package. It's got the runtime. The, the, these are the DLLs that's powering the runtime. A couple of supporting DLLs used by the EXE. And here we, here we have the application. Now, I've got it on a thumb drive. So I'm going to eject it, wait for it to be ejected. I'm going to take out my thumb drive. And I'm going to walk across the stage to another machine. And we're going to deploy it. Now, I'm using a thumb drive today. But this could be a DVD. It could be a folder that you copy across the network onto your machine. So I'm at my machine here. I'll plug it in. It'll take a couple of seconds to be recognized by the machine. But it'll come up with a folder. We'll open it up. Here we have the application. I'll say open. Application starts, just like that. <laughs> Very fast. This data is being drawn off the thumb drive. So I'll close that down. And if you like the easy install, you'll like the uninstall as well. It's as simple as pulling out the thumb drive. So there we have it, the top 10 for the ArcGIS runtime.